So today I am going to show you how to make your own alcohol inks. What you will need are some baby wipes or paper towels. You'll want an X-Acto knife or some type of sharp knife. You'll also want some isopropyl alcohol. I put mine into this little thing just because it's easier to utilize. You're going to want a couple of um, squeeze needle bottle containers. And if you can find the ones that already have the little silicone lid attached, that's preferable. You also will definitely want some gloves. This is a very messy project. And you'll want a glass container. Make sure it's something that you'll never use for anything else again because you'll be putting rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol in here. And then you also will want some Sharpie markers. I opened this one already because it's a pain to open. You have to really wiggle here because there's this locking mechanism, um, but it is able to come out. You just have to wiggle um, at this point right here, and then it will come apart. But I will show you how to get this one out. These are ones I just had lying around, but if you have any of the chisel ones, the much larger, fatter ones, that is preferable. I'm only making these little tiny bottles, so it's really not of a concern to me that I'm using a smaller marker. Um, also, if your markers are extremely old, you might not get much pigment out of them, so just be conscious of that with you know what size bottles you're purchasing. So if you purchased a bottle this size, you would probably need three to four of the chisels, but for a bottle this size, one of these markers will almost fill it up. All right, so first I will show you how to get this out. So you, some people say keep the cap on, I take it off. I have gloves on. But all you do is you push right here and you can actually see it starting to lift. And once you get that, just pull. And then you can pull that out. You can throw these in the trash. Pop that off, throw that in the trash. And then grab your X-Acto knife and make your first cut up. Find that same mark and then cut straight down. And be careful not to go too deep because otherwise you're going to get a lot of fuzz on the bottom here that hangs. And then all you do is you take this um, isopropyl alcohol with a needle and start at the top. Just let the alcohol ink drip in. And just keep drizzling it. You see how it's starting to turn white there? And eventually you'll start seeing that ink come out of the bottom. Just keep working your way around, watching that it turns white. And then I'm using my needle just to push down in there. Okay, and you see the ink starting to come out. So just keep going. You want the entire thing to turn white. All right, now I'm gonna start squeezing that tube so I can see better where I still have color. And I'm gonna go around the edge just to draw out all that color. again. Squeeze again. Okay. There's still one more spot back here I want to get. 
and make sure you protect your work area. As you can see, I've already got some drip here. It will definitely get messy. All right, so I'm just gonna roll this back up and do one last squeeze. And that's it. Then you wanna dispose of that. And then you'll grab your bottle. And then on your bottle, just squeeze. Get it as tight as you can. Tilt this glass jar, stick in the bottle, and then slowly release the pressure on the bottle that's in your hand. And you might not get it all in the very first draw, and I'll make sure I don't so I can show you. So then all you wanna do is turn the bottle right side up, squeeze again, and then go in quickly, and then let it continue to draw. And you can repeat that as many times as necessary to get all of the ink out. And that actually made an entirely full bottle, plus I have some extra. So I'm just going to put the cap on. Since I have extra, I'm going to grab another bottle. There you go. That actually made almost two full bottles. Of the, so now we have two full bottles of blue alcohol ink. And so then I'm just going to use a baby wipe. I'm going to clean this out so I can work on my next color. And that's why you want to use glass. If you use um, any type of more porous container, you're not going to be able to wipe it out like I'm doing right now, which might then result in the color you're not seeking once you put the color in here. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the green. So for this one, I'm going to pop that off. I didn't really think this went through. You get to the ink. Well, I don't know how spells brute force works. This one's much, much smaller, but same technique. Slide up. See that fuzz I was talking about? And slide down. You're welcome to try less expensive versions, not a Sharpie, but you may not have the same result. The ink quality and the Sharpie seems to be much better than the lesser or cheaper versions. And the cool thing about this is you can actually make your own colors too. I mean, you could just pick a couple of different colors that you think will look good together and pour them all together in one and make your own unique colors. All right, so that one is done. Now I'm going to I'm just gonna draw that out, squeeze that tight. Okay, so that, this marker, it gave not much at all. That's about how much I got. 
And so to do the three, I'm gonna say this is actually two bottles worth because if I combine these two, that would be a full bottle. So to make these, I used about 15 cc's, maybe 20 cc's in this bottle. So I would say probably 10 cc's per bottle. And there you have your own alcohol inks that you can use. And I have some paper here, some Yupo paper. I'll show you that it does actually work. And this one's the blue we made. And this is the green. And it reacts just like alcohol ink. There you have it. I hope you found this helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell to be alerted to future videos. And I'm going to fast forward through this. It's the exact same process.